Yusuke is a character that you like a lot. I love Yusuke. And I think is great. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of, like, hot button issues about Yusuke. <laughs> like, what does he think about Obamacare? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, a lot of things. People people have a lot of questions about him. We, we hope to... Maybe we can answer some of those questions. Maybe. Or make the issues way, way worse. Yeah. But it, but it is very... It's, Yusuke is... Like, he's, he's the fourth party member you get, Dungeon 2, and he's got the Emperor Confidant. I love every Emperor character. I will sing to the heavens the praises of the Emperor uh, Arcana. I love all of them, and they're all my boyfriends. Every single one Even of them. Even Hitotoshi? Uh, we talk sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, I love mentioning him whenever you say that. So, Yusuke is art man. <laughs> he is an artist. Yeah. He is very eccentric and weird. In a very, like, yeah, this is it. This is what an artist is like kind of way. I like him, because I, I think he's kind of in between that line of, like, being a fucking idiot. And, like, he's. I think he's just goofy enough to where he's funny and pretty realistic. Yeah. But not just, like, a complete he's fucking mank. That said, there are moments of him that came off as a bit too weird for me. Like the lobster scene, as great as it was visually, like, when, when you think about it, like, what was that? <laughs> like, you're thinking on a different frequency than Yusuke. He's on a whole different radio channel from you, right? Yeah. Him holding those two lobsters, for whatever fucking reason he bought those things, or caught them, I can't even recall. But for what, whatever reason he did it for, made complete sense to him. Yusuke is, is a weirdo. And I feel, I liked him, like, I feel the peak of his character. Like, when I liked him the absolute most, and he was one of my favorite characters, was that time during the second dungeon, to the end of it. Like, after he moves out, then, like, he goes from, like, the best character in the goddamn game to, like, this is a pretty good character. Wasn't that the biggest fucking cock tease when Yusuke was like, I will be moving in with you, and then he just doesn't? Yeah, and I have a fear that real soon, I'm going to fucking hate. <laughs> That's always the worst, when the character that you, like, really like is, like, dangerous. Yeah. Wait, there's always, there's that fear that Atlas is going to be like... No, there wasn't mm. that fear before, but the second we got that first spinoff, and like, we started to see the signs happen to Chie, then everyone became like, at risk, if they were to reappear. Yeah. Some characters end up better than others. Mm -hmm. Like, Kanji is relatively unfucked with, I think they talk more about how he's like, a homosexual. Yeah. But other than that, he's about the same. Like, Chie and Yukiko just turn into monstrosities. Naoto was completely unchanged. She is safe as fuck. Yusuke is a character that... You, know, you already kind of see moments of them, like, playing up his character in Persona 5, to an extent. Mm. Because when you first see him, he has some eccentricities. Like, especially with On. <laughs> yeah, he's a little, like, antisocial and kind of kind of out there, like, like you would pretty much expect an artist to be. Yeah. But also, he's a complete madman, too, as well. Yeah. But then, like, he joins your party and you complete Dungeon 2. And then you get, like, moments like the lobster moment and his interactions with Futaba. I like when he interacts with Futaba. I enjoy those character interactions a lot. But I also kind of see them, that is, them setting up for future disappointments. Mm. <laughs> as far as characters in Persona 5 go, Yusuke is definitely high tier. Yeah, I, I think he's my favorite. He's probably my favorite male character, mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. But I really, really like Yusuke. I was expecting to like Yusuke, but I had no idea he would end up being, like, my favorite mm -hmm. like that. I was expecting Yusuke to be completely different from what he was. Mm. What were you anticipating? I was anticipating someone like uh, Gundam Tanaka from Danganronpa 2 or Owain from Fire Emblem. Like, Chuni. Yeah, I was expecting one of yeah. those. Because those are popular, and we haven't had one of mm. those as a Persona user yet. I enjoyed him a lot, and I loved 
his confidant, which is what we're supposedly here to talk about today. I think that his confidant had some weird moments, but overall was good. I enjoyed it a lot. I liked all the weird moments mm -hmm. that like slowly built up into an actual story and like character development for Yusuke. Yeah. The moment that like got me into his confidant was his confidant starts off really strong with you going into my oh, yeah. for him to paint. And that is a really cool moment for a lot of reasons. It makes sense for him as an artist to want to see this other world. Because Mementos is really trippy, and what it represents is very would be very enticing to an artist. And it makes sense that that would be, like, his first thought. <laughs> and now Yusuke's painting skill cards. And that was weird. Not, mm -hmm. not gonna lie. Yeah, he just kind of figures out that, that power. Yeah. Like, him painting skill cards is really weird. Like, I accept it. I kind of like... I Yeah, I kind of like it, because it's like, you don't... I, like, for me, I didn't really question it. I just figured, like, he, he figured it out. Yeah. Like... But that, just, that makes me think, okay, so skill cards have, like, have an image on them. They aren't just, like, something spiritual. Mm -hmm. Are they, like, Yu-Gi-Oh card arts? <laughs> Dude, I bet, I bet Yusuke draws, like, all kinds of cool pictures on him. Yeah. Like, you give an Agidine card, he's like... Godzilla, like, breathing fire. It's like, here's your card. <laughs> the idea of Yusuke just drawing Godzilla. <laughs> My latest piece, Godzilla, fighting the Sayuri. <laughs> like, is the Sayuri, like, Godzilla-sized? Or is Godzilla Sayuri-sized? There... No, the Sayuri is the size of God Godzilla. <laughs> <laughs> or is it just, like, regular-sized Sayuri? <laughs> but Yusuke's confidant... From there is a lot of weird moments. I love around, that. Like, I think they're so good. Built around like some art show at a museum. So Yusuke enters some young artist association of art contest. Yeah. And brings some some piece. I can't recall what the name of the thing was. It was like suffering or torment or something like dark like that. Yeah. It, it was based off of mementos. It's like this cool painting. It's all like red and black and shit. He's like, I'm very proud of this painting. And then some dick comes around and he's like, this painting sucks. Has and he no has meaning. a... It has no meaning. And he has a fucking breakdown. And he falls to the floor and starts crying. Yeah. In an attempt to, like, help Yusuke get his group back, you take him to, like, areas where he may receive inspiration. And, like, dumb jokey scenes. <laughs> I like them. I think they're really good. My favorite one is the church. <laughs> The church one is pretty good. Because it also, like, like, it had a better, like, lesson that Yusuke learned than the boat one. Though the boat one is really good for establishing his character. Like, Yusuke doesn't fully understand, like, what makes love so intimate. We'll, we'll have to talk about this at some point. Does Yusuke is gay? Definitely not. Yusuke I don't think he's gay either. Yeah. I think he would see a penis and have a moment of being freaked out and just look away. Like, he'd be wondering why you were doing that. <laughs> why you were doing yeah. that? Like, why, why your cock was yeah. out? Is this a hello? <laughs> Sh should I paint it? <laughs> like, d d should I paint it? Do you, When I paint it, do you mean, like, like, put paint on it? Or, like... Because I can do that. <laughs> I would definitely get into some trouble if I were to, like, attempt to publish this art. <laughs> mm, but controversy is one of the cornerstones of art. <laughs> hmm. that, that's in a, that is a scene for a doujin. That is, that is, yeah, that's just straight up, like, a Yusuke, like, scene. <laughs> yeah, that is, that is a doujin that is in character. Speaking of doujins, one of the mementos dialogues for Yusuke is him being offered to draw a doujin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and that that gets me, because it implies that he drew something that would entice someone to want to get him to draw some porn. Like, he, he obviously had at least some level of confidence in, like, drawing nude. Yeah. Because he was he wanted to paint on it all. Yeah. Like, he would, know, he would have to know how to draw a person for that. I doubt he would, like, want to do on bad at that point. <laughs> like, after he met her, like, maybe he wouldn't put his full effort into it. Maybe he would, like, halfway through he would be like, 
He'd just start drawing her as a dragon <laughs> instead. <laughs> I, the idea of like part way through like. They just, it's just scales the tail. When I got to your neck, I grew bored. <laughs> and that, that, that's another scene I really like from Yusuke's confidant. Not what we're describing right now, but the fact that your other party members get involved. That's something that I feel Persona 5 did well, and that's like making confidants feel connected to an extent. In Persona 4, it only happened with Marie, and that was awful. Right. <laughs> And in Persona 3, it only happened in Persona 3 Portable with Koromaru, because they kind of had to. In Persona 5, you get some more connections between characters, and that's always great. The only thing I that like kind of rubs me the wrong way about Persona 5 is I feel like there weren't enough uh, like interactions between characters. Mm -hmm. um, like, just not in a group, but more like just person to person. Because mm -hmm. Persona 3 had a lot of that. And a lot of the major character development and like Persona Awakenings happen because of those interactions. Mm -hmm. And in Persona 5, off the top of my head, that happens like a couple of times. Like the most noteworthy one is like An and Makoto having a chat. Yeah. You get some chats between An and Ryuji occasionally. Mm -hmm. But Yusuke doesn't get many like seeds to be with other people. Yeah. So it's nice you get one in his confidant. Eventually you get to a like skill check, which is the dumbest skill check in the game. Don't even question me mm -hmm. on this. Where you have to pick Madurame's lock. And that was a scene I was really looking forward to seeing. Because the idea of like Yusuke returning to that home and I was looking forward to like giving me like, ah, the memories and stuff. Yeah, that's a cool it's a cool setup. Yeah. And then to be cock blocked by like, you need to get your proficiency up. <laughs> yeah, to get through this like shitty wooden fucking door. Yeah. Like you can't break it down. You can't throw Morgana through the window. You can't throw yourself through the window. You can't throw Yusuke through the window. I like the idea of Yusuke having like a tard rage moment where he just <laughs> throws the protagonist like ferociously <laughs> into the window. I like the idea of Yusuke like being very deadpan as he's thrown in. <laughs> like he dusts himself off fix some glass off of his hand. It's like, I'm fine. <laughs> and then, like, you see the guy from the art show again, and then he makes... He, he shows that he was just trying to, like, trick Yusuke into learning. <laughs> it was all a ruse, yeah. Yeah. And now Yusuke needs to, like... Now Yusuke's given, like, an offer to paint for money <laughs> like do it as a career yeah i was see, seeing how persona 5 was kind of like darker than mm -hmm. the rest of the series i was kind of expecting him to take the offer mm. because and like acknowledge that like well we'll limit like the pure expression i think i can do i can make a better career than Madarame. so you th you think that he should have taken like the realistic option over the cutesy like anime story learn a lesson yeah. option yeah because the uh, the ending is like very plain. <laughs> yeah, like, it's okay. Like I painted a new painting and I did it, which for the looks sake worse, of... but now it has like a different theme, so it's better. Yeah, and the theme added honestly was not too deep. <laughs> it was a very generic ending to what was otherwise a very unique confidant. I thought it was alright. I didn't have any like problem with it. I thought it, like, it wrapped up the little story they had nicely, kind of plainly, but, yeah. you know, it was It funny. was one of my more favorite types of confidants, too, mm. where the issue is not, like, them having a problem, more of them just trying to better themselves. Yeah, and Persona 5 has a lot more of that. Like, Ryuji's whole thing is I want to get, like, better and more fit so I can go back to the track team. And Ana's like, I want to be the greatest model ever. And Futaba's like, I want to just walk outside. Now, those, those, I think, I think that Futaba's is a problem. I think yeah, Futaba's is genu genuinely, like, a big and issue. Yus and not Yus Ryuji had a, like, problem that you did nothing to resolve. Mm-hmm. You just kind of watched yeah. him as he fixed it. And not even that he fixed it. Like, he did... It just he, circumstances to fix itself. Yeah. <laughs> but, like, Yusuke's confidant. That's a confidant that, like... It's just him trying to, like... It's just him... Be fun. better and, and, like, figure out who he is as an artist than a person. Yeah. And it remind, that reminds me of my favorite social link from Persona 4. Because it's my waifu social link, Naoto's. 
Right, of course. Yeah. Naruto's conf- con- uh, Fuck, I said it again. Naruto's social link is pretty good. Yeah, it was it was very fresh then, and it's still fresh now. Yeah, <laughs> it's I nice like it. to have a confidant where, like, they aren't, like, in pain or anything <laughs> <laughs> because of their problem. No, Yusuke is just trying to and enjoy himself more. Since Yusuke is a party member, we have to go over his persona. I like his persona. Goemon is really great. Yep. It is a piece. I think of- I, I think I've grown more attached to Goemon like the longer I've kind of had him in the back of my mind. Yeah. Like at first I wasn't really crazy about him, but now like I think I he like, fits Yusuke perfectly. I love the idea of Goemon and think he's like the perfect persona for Yusuke. Mm-hmm. But Susano is just seriously it's this guy again he doesn't even look that cool i i think he looks pretty okay but i don't think he fits yusuke at all he's too wild looking i guess he doesn't have that kind of refinement and like classiness that uh fucking goemon has yeah and sadly in battle yusuke doesn't do too much especially yusuke has a very specific niche of like getting a Combat. like baton pass yeah and then unleashing hell yeah yusuke is a very fun party member to use uh-huh. but because of how bosses inherently work he's not too useful yusuke sadly ended up in the back seat i used him whenever i can but there were like the problem is that there's usually better options like if i wanted to do massive physical damage like ryuji's a better pick yeah or if i wanted to use like some strong ice magic then usually the the protagonist was just the better choice yeah to like be the ice guy yeah yusuke's niche ended up being masuku kaja but that still leaves yusuke with not much to do between casting it yeah like he's not he's not a weak party member he's just the most okay out of all he reminds you of kanji and vanilla persona 4 i mostly use him just because i like his character a lot yeah i just like i like how he's got a katana and shit yeah so i used him when i could but like a lot of the time, it'd be like, all right, Yusuke, you gotta switch. Yeah. I feel, I really liked his scene on the boat where, like, you know how in Shia's palace, everyone has their little moment? Mm-hmm. Like, On gets her moment where she acts good, and Futaba gets a moment where she hacks, and then the guy just is like, why would, why would I do this? I'll just shoot you. <laughs> so her moment was kind of, like, stupid. <laughs> But Yusuke's moment is great. <laughs> Yusuke's moment is really funny. Yeah, I like his drawing of a phoenix. I think the dumb part about that is it was pretty clear he was fine with Yusuke's style and wouldn't ask him to change anything. <laughs> like Yusuke would just, the only problem is that Yusuke would be like receiving money and maybe need to paint more phoenixes than normal. <laughs> it's like, I don't want to paint phoenixes. <laughs> I, <laughs> Come on, just like once a month. <laughs> no. Once a month. I'm backing your Patreon. <laughs> <laughs> Yusuke is creating art. Would you back Yusuke's Patreon? Yeah. He wouldn't make it. Yusuke seems like the type who would forget about it for like a few months and then out of nowhere upload like 40 paintings. <laughs> then no one asked for. Mm-hmm. Like all the commissions are basically left undone. And that's why instead of saying commissions, he says request. You can request one piece of art. Yusuke <laughs> just saying, well, I'm glad you would want that. <laughs> it's nice to have desires. I think desire was what- Yeah, that was what it was called. Yeah. Desire. Cause like that's Mementos' whole deal. Yeah. Yeah. There, I'm, I'm glad I remembered that. Dude, we solved the mystery. We solved the mystery of how we didn't do research. Dude, art, uh, like, scripts are the antithesis to good art. Yeah. No good art was ever created by following a script. Or a set of, like, Lego building instructions. But what if, but aren't scripts, in their own way, a piece of art? Damn. Yusuke is confident I give a good <laughs> mm, like i don't want to give it i don't know if i want to give it a great just because like i enjoyed it a lot but there were so, there were scenes that were like objectively filler mm, yeah like i don't mind a bit of filler but you know i think that when you have 10 ranks for a confidant you need to like get started quickly and stay started <laughs> like i'll give just gave the character for me i'll give a great i'll give his confidant a good because yeah. i liked it a lot